I'm here to share with you a principle that has been the cornerstone not only of my journey, but also the journey of countless successful individuals across the globe. It's about hard work. Not just any hard work, but the kind that sets you apart. The kind that makes you outwork everyone else. Years ago when I embarked on my own path to understanding success and achievement, I discovered something fundamental. Success, lasting success, is built on the foundation of relentless hard work. I remember vividly a turning point in my life. I was young, eager, and full of dreams, but I was also starting from scratch with no money, no connections, just a heart full of ambition. It was then I realized that if I was going to make something of myself, I needed to be willing to work harder than anyone else. This realization wasn't a moment of despair, but one of clarity. It dawned on me that hard work was the great equalizer. It didn't matter where you started or what resources you had at your disposal. What mattered was your willingness to put in the effort day in and day out. This ethos of outworking everyone isn't just about being busy or filling your time with tasks. It's about purposeful, directed hard work. It's about setting your sights on a goal so compelling that you're willing to do whatever it takes to achieve it. And let me tell you, this approach transforms everything. When you commit to outworking everyone, you're not just working for the sake of working, you're building a legacy. You're carving out your path to excellence right now. Why am I so passionate about this? Because I've lived it. I've seen the transformative power of hard work in my life and in the lives of those I've had the privilege to mentor and guide. I've witnessed individuals who embrace the principle of outworking everyone and watched as they achieved remarkable success, not because they were the most talented or the most gifted, but because they were the most dedicated. Our journey is about igniting that fire within you, about setting your heart and mind on a course that accepts no shortcuts, no excuses, only hard work. It's about understanding that the road to success is paved with challenges, setbacks and failures, but it's also filled with opportunity, growth, and achievement. The question is not whether you'll face obstacles, you will. The question is, how will you respond? Will you back down, or will you rise up, work harder, and push forward? Keep open your mind, reflect on your goals, your ambitions, and ask yourself, am I truly ready to outwork everyone? This isn't just about professional success. It's about personal growth, about becoming the best version of yourself. And it all starts with a decision, a decision to commit to hard work, to discipline, and to excellence. Within each of us lies a well of untapped potential, a reservoir of capability and talent that, for many, remains undiscovered throughout their lives. It's a fundamental truth that each individual holds within them the seeds of greatness, potential that is limitless, boundless in its capacity to achieve, create, and innovate. Yet this potential alone is not enough. It's a combination of recognizing this potential and coupling it with unwavering hard work that leads to true success. Take a moment to explore the intricate dance between potential, hard work, and success. You see, potential is like a dormant seed lying in the soil. It has the possibility to grow, to blossom into something extraordinary. But without the necessary nutrients, sunlight and water, it will remain just that, a possibility. Hard work, then, is the nurturing it needs. It's the water, the sunlight, the care that transforms possibility into reality. It's through hard work that potential is realized and success is achieved. To illustrate this point, let me share with you a story, a narrative not about someone whose name you'd necessarily find illuminated in bright lights, but about a person just like any of us. This individual began their journey in a small town with dreams that seemed to dwarf their current reality. They weren't born into privilege or endowed with extraordinary talents. What set them apart was a belief in their potential and a determination to work harder than anyone around them. This person, let's call them Alex, embarked on a journey fraught with challenges. Early on, Alex faced setbacks that would have deterred many. Rejections were frequent, and failures seemed to be around every corner. But Alex possessed a profound understanding of the power of potential and the necessity of hard work. Instead of viewing setbacks as insurmountable obstacles, Alex saw them as stepping stones, opportunities for growth and learning. With each setback, Alex's resolve only strengthened. They dedicated themselves to learning, growing, and most importantly, working tirelessly towards their goals. Days turned into nights, and nights turned back into days, 
Yet Alex's commitment never wavered. They understood that to achieve something, they had never done what they must do through relentless effort, unwavering dedication, and an unshakable belief in their potential. Alex began to see the fruits of their labor. What was once a distant dream started to materialize into reality. However, success did not change Alex. It only reinforced their belief in the power of hard work and limitless potential. Within Alex's story is a testament to what is possible when we recognize our potential and commit ourselves to hard work. It serves as a reminder that success is not reserved for a select few, born with golden spoons in their mouths or extraordinary talents. Success is achievable for anyone willing to put in the effort to outwork everyone else. Let's carry with us the lesson from Alex's journey. It reminds us of our own potential, of the greatness that lies within each of us waiting to be realized through hard work. Make a commitment not just to dream big, but to work even harder to turn those dreams into reality. Turn our focus towards the building blocks of success. Discipline and commitment. These are not merely words but the very foundation upon which we can build a legacy of achievement and fulfillment. Let's dive deeper into understanding how cultivating discipline and fostering a commitment to our goals can elevate our efforts from ordinary to extraordinary. The understanding that hard work is more than just a means to an end. It's a way of life, a testament to your character, and the most reliable path to achieving your dreams. Are you ready to outwork everyone? The twin pillars of discipline and commitment stand tall as the foundation upon which the edifice of success is built. These principles are not just accessories to the quest for achievement. They are the very essence of what it means to strive for and attain our deepest goals and ambitions. The relationship between self-discipline, commitment and success is not merely coincidental, but fundamentally intertwined, each feeding into and reinforcing the other. At the heart of outworking everyone is self-discipline, it's the internal compass that guides us through the tempest of distractions, temptations, and immediate gratifications, keeping our eyes firmly on the prize. Self-discipline is what gets you out of bed on those cold, dark mornings when the world seems to conspire against your efforts. It's what keeps you at your desk, laboring over your work long after others have called it a day. It is, in essence, the ability to do what needs to be done even when you don't feel like doing it. But self-discipline does not operate in a vacuum. It requires the fuel of commitment to ignite and sustain its flame. Commitment to your goals is the declaration of your intention to the world and to yourself. It's a non-negotiable act, a promise that no matter the obstacles, setbacks or failures, giving up is simply not an option. This unwavering commitment becomes your shield against the slings and arrows of doubt, fear and uncertainty. Developing discipline and strengthening commitment are akin to building muscle. They require consistent practice and effort. One effective strategy is to start small. Set yourself manageable tasks, and as you complete them, allow your confidence and capability to grow. Another strategy is to keep your goals visible. Remind yourself daily of what you're working towards, why it matters, and the person you're striving to become. Surround yourself with motivation, be it quotes, images, or the stories of those who've walked this path before you. Let these be your guiding lights illuminating your path to success. Let me share with you a personal anecdote that embodies the power of discipline and commitment. It was during a particularly challenging phase of my journey when I found myself faced with an obstacle that seemed insurmountable. The odds were stacked against me and failure loomed large on the horizon. It was in this crucible of adversity that I learned the true value of discipline and commitment. I had set a goal that was ambitious, to say the least. Every day I worked tirelessly, but progress was slow, and doubts began to creep in. It would have been easy to give in, to say that it was too hard, too far beyond my reach. But it was my commitment to my goal that held firm, a beacon in the dark reminding me of the promise I had made to myself. Coupled with self-discipline, I pushed forward, dedicating myself to the task with renewed vigor and determination. The breakthrough came, as it often does, after a period of intense struggle. It wasn't a dramatic moment, but rather a quiet realization that my efforts were bearing fruit, that the discipline and commitment I had poured into my work had not been in vain. This experience taught me that discipline and commitment are more than just words. They are the bedrock upon which all success is built. They have the power to transform dreams into reality, to turn the seemingly impossible into the achievable. Discipline and commitment, not as burdens, but as liberators. 
Let them free us from the chains of procrastination, hesitation, and fear. For it is only by mastering ourselves that we can truly master the world around us. Let this understanding be our guide as we delve deeper into the strategies that will enable us to harness our potential, to outwork everyone, and to achieve the success we are destined for. Equipped with the knowledge that with discipline and commitment, there are no limits to what we can achieve. Embracing the lessons of discipline and commitment, we naturally progress to the pivotal step of setting goals and creating action plans. This step is where dreams begin to take shape, where the rubber meets the road. The journey of a thousand miles, they say, begins with a single step. But it is equally true that this step must be in the right direction, a direction determined by our goals. Long-standing is the importance of clear, measurable, and challenging goals. Goals are not just wishes or hopes. They are the targets towards which we direct our efforts and resources. The clearer your goal, the easier it is to make the decisions necessary to reach it. Clarity brings focus, focus brings energy, and energy brings results. But these goals must also be measurable. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And if you can't manage it, you can't achieve it. Each goal must have a yardstick by which progress can be gauged. Furthermore, your goals must stretch you. They should challenge you, pushing you beyond your comfort zone. It is only by aiming for what seems beyond our grasp that we grow and expand our capabilities. Now setting goals that motivate you to outwork everyone else requires introspection and honesty. What drives you? What ignites that fire in your belly? These are the goals that will push you to wake up early, stay late, and give that extra effort. To find these motivating goals, envision the life you want to lead, the person you wish to become. Work backward from this vision to set goals that are not just steps towards this vision, but also deeply connected to your values and passions. This alignment creates a powerful motivational force that fuels persistence and hard work. However, having a goal is just the beginning. The significance of a detailed action plan cannot be underestimated. An action plan is your roadmap, detailing how you will move from where you are to where you want to be. It breaks down your goal into actionable steps, assigning timelines and resources to each. This plan is what transforms dreams into reality. Without it, goals remain just good intentions. To illustrate the transformative power of goal setting and planning, let me share a success story. This is the story of a person who, like many of us, started with humble beginnings and faced numerous challenges. Let's call him Taylor. Taylor had a dream, a vision of becoming a leader in his field and making a difference. But dreams alone are not enough. Understanding this, Taylor set clear, measurable, and challenging goals. But more importantly, Taylor created a detailed action plan. Taylor's plan was meticulous, outlining daily, weekly, and monthly actions that were all aligned with his ultimate goal. This level of planning and organization might seem daunting to some, but it was Taylor's roadmap to success. With unwavering commitment and disciplined execution of this plan, Taylor overcame obstacles that once seemed insurmountable. With each step taken, each milestone achieved, Taylor's confidence grew. The journey was not easy, nor was it quick, but it was deliberate and ultimately successful. Today, Taylor stands as a testament to the power of setting goals and creating detailed action plans. But let's not lose sight of the fact that the journey of personal and professional growth is ongoing. The skills, habits, and disciplines we've talked about are not just for achieving immediate goals, but for creating a lifetime of success and fulfillment. How to maximize our productivity. How to make every minute count in the relentless pursuit of our goals. It's about becoming masters of our time, about learning to prioritize, focus, and execute with precision. This is where the discipline of time management becomes our greatest ally in the quest to outwork everyone. Delving into the essence of maximizing productivity, it becomes clear that mastering time management is pivotal. It's about making every moment count, ensuring that our hard work is directed efficiently and effectively towards our goals. The art of managing time is not just a skill, but a transformative practice that underpins success in every aspect of life. Effective time management begins with understanding the value of our time. Each of us has the same 24 hours in a day, but how we choose to use those hours makes all the difference. The first step is prioritization. It's crucial to recognize that not all tasks are created equal. Some tasks significantly impact our goals, while others contribute little to our progress. 
By prioritizing tasks based on their impact and urgency, we ensure that our efforts are focused on what truly matters. However, Understanding the importance of prioritization leads us to confront one of the greatest enemies of productivity, procrastination. This insidious habit can derail even the most well-intentioned plans, leaving us feeling frustrated and unfulfilled. To combat procrastination, we must develop strategies that propel us into action. Setting small, achievable goals, creating a structured schedule, and fostering an environment conducive to focus are just a few ways to overcome the inertia of procrastination. At the heart of effective time management lies a simple but powerful concept. Eating that frog. This means tackling the most challenging tasks first, those tasks that we are most likely to procrastinate on. By confronting these tasks head-on, we not only make significant progress towards our goals, but also build momentum and confidence that propel us through the rest of our day. This approach transforms our work ethic, teaching us that we are capable of overcoming challenges and achieving great things. To bring this concept to life, let me share an anecdote about someone I once knew. Let's call them Jamie. Jamie was brilliant and full of potential, but was constantly held back by poor time management and procrastination. Tasks were left undone, opportunities missed, and Jamie's dreams seemed increasingly out of reach. Recognizing the need for change, Jamie decided to implement the principles of prioritization and eating that frog. Jamie began each day by identifying the most challenging task, and committing to completing it first. This was not easy. It required discipline and a willingness to step out of comfort zones. However, as days turned into weeks, Jamie noticed a profound transformation. Not only were tasks being completed more efficiently, but there was also more time available for personal development, relaxation, and pursuing passions. By managing time wisely, Jamie was not just working harder, but smarter, achieving more with less stress and greater satisfaction. This story of transformation is a testament to the power of effective time management. It illustrates how, by adopting a disciplined approach to our daily tasks and commitments, we can unlock our full potential and turn our dreams into reality. As we embrace the principles of time management, let's remember that this journey is about more than just achieving external success. It's about personal growth, about becoming the best versions of ourselves. With our newfound mastery over time, we're not only positioned to outwork everyone but also to lead a balanced, fulfilling life in an ever-evolving world. Staying at the forefront of our field requires an unwavering commitment to learning, adapting, and growing. Explore how we can cultivate a mindset of perpetual growth, ensuring that we remain not just participants in the world of tomorrow, but leaders shaping its direction. Mastering time management and setting a firm foundation of goals, we encounter an undeniable truth. The journey does not end here. The world's ever-evolving landscapes shift, technologies advance, and knowledge expands. In this ceaseless tide of change, the tool that empowers us to outwork everyone is lifelong learning. Lifelong learning isn't just an educational philosophy. It's a strategy for sustained excellence. It's the recognition that no matter how much we know, there's always more to learn. This hunger for knowledge, for skills, for mastery, is what distinguishes the truly successful from those who merely dabble in success. It's about making a commitment, not just to your current goals, but to the person you aim to become. The journey of continuous learning begins with embracing feedback and self-reflection. Feedback, be it positive or negative, is invaluable. It's a mirror reflecting not just our achievements but also our areas for improvement. But more crucially, it requires self-reflection. Taking the time to look inward, to assess our actions, decisions, and outcomes is what enables us to grow. It's in these moments of reflection that we find the seeds of future success. Adopting a stance of continuous learning necessitates techniques for staying ahead in your field. This involves more than just keeping abreast of the latest trends and technologies. It's about critically evaluating information, asking how it applies to you, and how you can leverage it to enhance your work. It's about attending workshops, seminars, and courses, not as a participant, but as an eager student, it's about reading not just for information, but for inspiration, allowing the insights of others to spark innovation in your own work. Let me share a story that embodies the essence of continuous learning and improvement. This narrative revolves around a person I knew, someone much like you and me. Let's call them Casey. Casey began their career with a solid foundation, armed with knowledge and skills. 
However, Casey quickly realized that the world was changing at a pace faster than ever before. To stay relevant and excel, they needed to evolve as well. Casey made a decision that would change the trajectory of their career. They dedicated themselves to learning, to growing every single day. They sought feedback relentlessly, not shying away from criticism, but welcoming it as a tool for growth. Casey reflected on their actions, questioning not just the what, but the why of their decisions. They immersed themselves in their field, attending conferences, enrolling in courses, and reading voraciously. The transformation was profound. With each new skill acquired, each insight gained, Casey climbed the ladder of success. But more importantly, they became a beacon of inspiration to those around them. Their dedication to continuous learning and improvement didn't just elevate their career, it set a standard for excellence within their organization. Casey's story is a testament to the power of embracing lifelong learning. It shows us that success is not a destination but a journey, enriched not just by the goals we achieve but by the knowledge we acquire and the person we become in the process. It's the spirit of continuous learning and improvement in our hearts. Let it be the lens through which we view every challenge and every opportunity. For it is through this commitment to growth, the outworking everyone not just through effort, but through knowledge, that we can truly achieve greatness. And now, as we look ahead, consider the resilience needed on this journey. The path to success is rarely straight. It's fraught with obstacles and setbacks. It's our ability to persevere, to rise from setbacks stronger and more determined, that ultimately defines our success. The role of resilience in transforming obstacles into stepping stones towards our goals is paramount. For our quest for greatness, for outworking everyone and achieving our dreams, we must acknowledge a fundamental truth. The path will be strewn with obstacles. Yet it is not the presence of these obstacles that defines our journey, but our response to them. The key to navigating this terrain, to truly excelling and reaching our full potential, lies in one critical quality, resilience. Resilience is more than mere persistence. It's the ability to face setbacks, failures, and challenges head-on, and to emerge from them not just unbroken, but stronger and more determined. It's about maintaining motivation, even when the odds seem insurmountable. This quality, this unyielding spirit, is what sets apart those who achieve their dreams from those who do not. So, how does one cultivate such resilience? The answer lies in strategies that fortify our inner strength and keep our eyes fixed on our goals, regardless of the hurdles. One such strategy is reframing setbacks as opportunities for growth. Every failure, every obstacle carries within it the seeds of learning and development. By shifting our perspective, we transform challenges into stepping stones on our path to success. Another strategy is to surround ourselves with support. Our journey need not be a solitary one. The encouragement of mentors, the solidarity of peers, and the guidance of those who have walked this path before us can be a wellspring of strength. These relationships not only provide emotional support, but also practical advice and insights that can help us navigate through tough times. Perseverance plays a crucial role in this dynamic. It's the steady hand that keeps us on course when storms rage. It's the voice that urges us to rise each time we fall, reminding us that the true measure of success is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fail. This unyielding perseverance is the hallmark of those who outwork everyone. It's not just about working harder, but about never giving up, no matter the circumstances. To illustrate the power of resilience, Let's delve into a story that has always inspired me. This is the tale of someone who faced defeat and rejection not once, not twice, but repeatedly. Let's call them Morgan. Morgan had a dream, a vision of making a significant impact in their field. However, their journey was anything but smooth. Time and again, they faced rejections that would have crushed anyone's spirit. Projects failed, proposals were turned down, and it seemed as if every effort was met with disappointment. But Morgan possessed a quality that set them apart. Resilience. With every setback, Morgan learned, adapted, and came back stronger. They sought feedback, reflected on their mistakes, and used these insights to improve. Their motivation never waned, because they knew that failure was not the opposite of success. It was a part of the success journey. The turning point for Morgan came when, after yet another significant setback, they made a groundbreaking discovery. 
This breakthrough was not in spite of their failures, but because of them. Each failure had been a lesson, each rejection a moment of learning. Morgan's resilience had turned what seemed like insurmountable obstacles into the very stepping stones that led to their greatest achievement. Morgan's story is a testament to the power of resilience. It reminds us that our dreams are worth fighting for, that no obstacle is too great, and no failure is final. As we continue on our path, let's carry with us the spirit of resilience. Let's remember that to outwork everyone is not just about the work we do, but about how we face challenges, how we learn from them, and how we continue to strive towards our goals with unwavering determination. Let us not forget the final piece of our journey, the reward of hard work. It's not just about the accolades or the achievements, but about the satisfaction of knowing we gave it our all, that we live true to our potential, and that we never let obstacles deter us from our path. Are you ready to face whatever challenges come our way? Steadfast in our commitment to our dreams and to outworking everyone, striving to carve out our path to success. We've navigated the landscapes of discipline, goal setting, time management, continuous learning, and resilience. Each of these elements serves as a beacon guiding us through the challenges and triumphs of striving to outwork everyone. But what does it all culminate in? What are the fruits born of this relentless labor? The reward of hard work transcends the tangible achievements we accumulate along the way. Yes, there are personal and professional milestones, accolades, and recognition. But beyond these external validations lies something far more profound and lasting. The deep-seated satisfaction and sense of accomplishment that comes from knowing you've given your all. When we speak about outworking everyone, it's not just about being the last person to leave the office or the first to arrive. It's about the quality of our efforts the depth of our dedication, and the strength of our character. It's about the personal growth that comes from pushing ourselves beyond our perceived limits, from embracing challenges as opportunities to learn and improve. The long-term benefits of adopting this work ethic extend far beyond our individual successes. They ripple outwards, impacting our families, communities, and society at large. When we commit to being the hardest workers in the room, we set a standard of excellence that inspires those around us. We become role models, mentors, and leaders, showing by example that with hard work, discipline, and perseverance, anything is possible. This is a call to action for each of us. Let's commit to not only setting goals, but to pursuing them with unwavering dedication. Let's manage our time with purpose, ensuring that each day brings us one step closer to our dreams. Let's embrace continuous learning as a lifelong journey understanding that growth and improvement are never-ending processes. And let's face obstacles with resilience, knowing that each challenge overcome makes us stronger and more capable. Reflect on the personal satisfaction that comes from hard work. Think about the moments when you felt truly proud of what you've accomplished, not because of external recognition, but because you knew the effort, sacrifice, and dedication it took to get there. That feeling, that deep sense of fulfillment, is the true reward of hard work. It's something that can't be taken away, a treasure that grows more valuable with time. To be the hardest workers, not for accolades or recognition, but for the unparalleled satisfaction that comes from knowing we've lived true to our potential. Commit to excellence in all we do, for in the end, the greatest reward is the person we become through our effort. The path to greatness is paved with hard work, discipline, and an unwavering commitment to our goals. Tried forward with confidence, resilience, and a relentless drive to outwork everyone. For in doing so, we not only achieve our dreams, but inspire others to reach for theirs as well. Let's ignite the world with the spark of our attitudes. Because believe me when I say, your attitude isn't just a part of your journey to success. It is the very path you walk on. It is the fuel that propels you forward. It's everything. Have you ever found yourself standing on the brink of your dreams, peering into the vast expanse of your desires, yet feeling like there's an invisible barrier holding you back. That barrier, my friends, isn't built by the world around you. It's constructed from the bricks of doubt, fear, and hesitation within you. But what if I told you that you hold the power to demolish this barrier? Yes, you do, through the sheer force of your attitude. Your attitude is everything. Bake it till you make it. Now hold on, before you jump to conclusions about the word fake, Let's unravel the true essence of this powerful strategy. It's not about deception. 
It's about setting the stage for your success. It's about embodying the spirit of your dreams even before they materialize. It's about dressing for the role you aspire to, not the role you currently play. Let me share a story that encapsulates this essence perfectly. Imagine a young individual, much like any of us here, armed with dreams so big they scare him. Yet there's a fire within him. A fire to make something of himself. But here's the catch. His current reality doesn't align with the future he envisions. What does he do? He makes a pivotal choice. He decides to walk, talk, and act like the success story he aims to be. And guess what? The universe starts aligning with his newfound demeanor. Opportunities don't just knock, they start banging on his door. Why? Because he chose to fake it. To live and breathe the success he sought until the act became his reality. Now you might wonder how this is relevant to you. Let's face it. Each one of us has been at crossroads, faced with the choice of retreating into the comfort of our doubts, or marching ahead with confidence. How often do we let the fear of failure dictate our actions? More often than we'd like to admit, right? But here's a thought. What if we chose to see beyond our doubts? What if we decided to act with the confidence of the victor, even when victory seems like a distant dream? Faking it till you make it isn't about pretense. It's about faith. Faith in yourself. Faith in your potential. Faith in the journey towards your dreams. It's about adopting a winner's attitude even when the scoreboard suggests otherwise. Because in the grand scheme of things, success is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. It's about preparing yourself mentally and emotionally for the success that's yet to come. Throughout history, the greatest achievers weren't those who never faced doubts or fears. They were those who refused to be defined by them. They understood a fundamental truth. Success starts with what's inside you, with the attitude you bring to the table every single day. So as we gear up for the journey ahead, ask yourself, what's holding me back? More importantly, ask, what would I do if failure wasn't an option? Let's embark on this exploration together, delving into how a shift in attitude can turn the impossible into the inevitable. Remember, it all starts with you. Your attitude isn't just a small piece of the puzzle, it is the puzzle. Your attitude is everything. Let's dive into the heart of the matter, the very engine that drives the train of success. Your attitude. When we talk about attitude, we're not just referring to a fleeting emotion or a temporary stance. No, we're talking about the very bedrock of your personal and professional existence. Your attitude. Believe it or not, it is the compass that directs the course of your life. It's the inner voice that says, Yes, I can, even when the entire world whispers, No, you can't. Now let's unravel the magic behind the mantra. Fake it till you make it. This isn't about donning a mask or playing a part that feels alien to your true self. It's about embracing the power of positive pretense, a psychological lifeline that pulls you from the depths of doubt into the realms of possibility and success. It's about believing in the part of you that's capable of achieving greatness, even if that part hasn't had its moment in the sun just yet. Acting as if you have already achieved your goals sets a powerful psychological precedent. It programs your mind to navigate the world as a victor, not a victim, paving the way for genuine success. Consider the luminaries of our time, individuals who didn't just climb the mountain of success, but reshaped its very contours with their perseverance and attitude. Take the example of a young woman armed with nothing but a dream to make her mark in the literary world. Faced with rejections that could easily dampen the brightest of spirits, she chose to wear the cloak of a successful author long before her first manuscript was accepted. Every morning she sat at her desk, weaving stories undeterred by the pile of rejection slips. In her mind, she was already a best-selling author. Today, her books have not only topped charts, but have also inspired a generation to dream. Her secret? She believed in her success and faked her way into making it a reality. Consider the inventor who was told time and again that his ideas were fanciful, unrealistic. Did he bow down to the naysayers? No, he walked, balked, and worked like the genius inventor he knew himself to be. His unwavering belief in his vision, his attitude, eventually led to inventions that changed the course of human history. His reality started in his mind, shaped by the steadfast attitude that he was already where he aimed to be. What these stories tell us is profound yet simple. The attitude you adopt shapes the life you lead. Fake it till you make it is not about deception. 
It's about setting the stage for your own success story. It's about living today with the conviction and confidence of your future self. It's about aligning your mental state with your aspirations, thereby making your goals an inevitable reality. So why is it that some individuals seem to effortlessly ascend the ladder of success while others remain tethered to the ground? The answer lies not in their circumstances, luck, or even talent, but in their attitude. It's their relentless drive, their unwavering belief in themselves, and their ability to fake their confidence until it becomes their second nature. Now think about your own life. Where could a shift in attitude take you? Imagine for a moment that you are already the person you aspire to be. Successful, confident, fulfilled. How would you approach your day? How would you tackle challenges? Embracing this mindset, this attitude, can be the catalyst for profound change in your life. Building a positive attitude isn't just a good idea. It's a blueprint for success, a formula that can transform your life from the inside out. So how do we construct this foundation of positivity? Let's dive in with practical, actionable steps that can elevate your mindset and set you on a path of unstoppable success. First, understand this. Your thoughts shape your reality. It's like planting a garden in your mind. If you plant seeds of positivity, you'll harvest success, happiness, and fulfillment. But where do you start? Start with your self-talk. The conversations you have with yourself every single day, are they filled with hope and optimism or doubt and negativity? Begin to consciously shift this internal dialogue. Instead of saying, I can't, start saying, I can. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, focus on what went right. It might seem small, but this shift can ignite a profound transformation in your life. Now let's talk about visualization, a powerful tool in building a positive attitude. Imagine yourself achieving your goals, living your dream life. See it, feel it, believe in it. This isn't daydreaming. It's a strategic exercise in mental preparation. Athletes do it all the time. Before they even step onto the field, they visualize their success. They see the win, feel the triumph, and then they make it happen. You can do the same. Before you start your day, take a moment to visualize your success. What does a successful day look like for you? Hold on to that vision and carry it with you throughout the day. But visualization and positive self-talk are just part of the equation. What about the information you consume on a daily basis? This brings us to the concept of a mental diet. Just like your body thrives on nutritious food, your mind thrives on positive, uplifting content. Be selective about what you feed your mind. Choose books, podcasts, and videos that inspire and motivate you. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, not those who pull you down. Your mental diet can shape your attitude, your beliefs, and ultimately, your success. So here are some thought-provoking questions for you. What does your current mental diet look like? Are you nourishing your mind with positivity, or are you letting in negativity without even realizing it? It's time to take control, to be deliberate about the content you consume and the thoughts you entertain. Building a positive attitude is not a one-time task, it's a continuous journey. It requires effort, persistence, and a commitment to growth. But the rewards are immeasurable. A positive attitude can open doors, create opportunities, and attract success. It can transform challenges into stepping stones and dreams into realities. As we move forward, remember, you have the power to shape your attitude, to choose positivity, and to create the life you've always wanted. Start today by shifting your self-talk, practicing visualization, and being mindful of your mental diet. These steps aren't just pathways to a positive attitude. They're the building blocks of a successful, fulfilling life. Remember, your attitude is the paintbrush of your existence. What masterpiece will you create with it? I'm here today to talk about something that affects us all at various points in our journey. The challenge of overcoming negative influences. You know the world around us can often feel like a minefield of negativity. From the fear that holds us back, to the doubt that creeps in during moments of uncertainty to the criticism that can sometimes feel like a relentless storm. But here's the thing. These negative influences aren't just obstacles. They're opportunities. Opportunities to grow, to strengthen our resolve, and to reaffirm our path toward success. So how do we navigate through this? How do we shield ourselves and maintain a mindset focused on growth and positivity? Let's start with fear. 
Fear is like a shadow, always lurking, ready to engulf us if we let it. But remember, a shadow only exists because there is light. Turn towards the light. Your goals, your dreams, your potential. When fear whispers doubts in your ear, counter it with action. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory over fear. Now doubt, it's a tricky one. It questions our abilities, our worthiness, and our decisions. But here's a strategy. Read doubt as a signal, not a stop sign. It's signaling you to seek more information, to prepare better, and to strengthen your resolve. Let doubt drive you to become more, not less. Embrace it as part of the growth process. And then there's criticism. Nobody is immune to it. But remember, not all criticism is created equal. Learn to differentiate between constructive feedback, which can be a valuable tool for growth, and destructive criticism, which serves no purpose other than to discourage. Welcome the former, and as for the latter, let it roll off you like water off a duck's back. But how do you practically shield yourself from these negative influences? First, curate your environment. Surround yourself with positivity, people who uplift you, content that inspires you, and activities that rejuvenate you. Your environment has a profound impact on your mindset. Second, practice gratitude. It's impossible to feel negative when you're genuinely thankful. Start and end your day by listing things you're grateful for. And third, commit to lifelong learning. The more you grow, the less space there is for negativity. Every new skill you learn, every piece of knowledge you acquire, builds your confidence and reduces the power of negative influences. Let me share a story that encapsulates the power of overcoming negativity. There was once a young artist faced with rejection after rejection. His work was criticized, his style was questioned, and his future in the art world looked bleak. But instead of succumbing to doubt and fear, he used the criticism as fuel. He dedicated himself to mastering his craft, to learning, growing, and evolving. Today, his art is celebrated worldwide. His journey wasn't just about overcoming negativity, it was about using it as a catalyst for personal and professional growth. So as you face fear, doubt, and criticism, remember, these aren't roadblocks. They're stepping stones. Use them to elevate yourself. Turn fear into action, doubt into growth, and criticism into strength. You have within you the power to rise above negativity and to carve out a path of success that is uniquely yours. Remember, it's not the challenges that define us, but how we respond to them. Keep moving forward, keep growing, and let your attitude be your shield against negativity. Let's dive into a powerful concept, one that can truly revolutionize the way you approach every aspect of your lives. Fake it till you make it. Now, I know at first glance, this might sound a bit superficial, but let's peel back the layers and really understand how this principle can be applied authentically across different areas of your life. From your career to your personal relationships, and especially in your journey of personal growth. In your career, fake it till you make it, is not about misrepresenting your skills or experience. It's about embodying the confidence and attitude of the role you aspire to. Think about it. How would someone in your dream position carry themselves? How would they tackle challenges or interact with colleagues? Start adopting those behaviors now. It's about stepping into a larger version of yourself even before you've reached that milestone. This approach acts as a magnet, drawing opportunities your way, because you're already resonating with the energy of that role. In relationships, this principle can transform your interactions and connections. It's about embodying the qualities of the person you want to be in your relationships. Are you looking to be more understanding, compassionate, or supportive? Begin by faking these qualities, not insincerely, but as a practice. The remarkable thing is, the more you practice, the more these qualities genuinely become a part of who you are. It's about stretching beyond your current self to embrace and embody the qualities you admire. Personal growth is perhaps where, fake it till you make it, finds its most fertile ground. Here, it's about visualizing the person you aim to become. Someone who embodies resilience, adaptability, and unwavering positivity, even if you're not there yet. Start acting as if you are. Facing a challenge, Ask yourself, how would the future, more evolved version of me handle this? This doesn't mean ignoring your emotions or pretending problems don't exist. Instead, it's about adopting a growth mindset even when you're tempted to fall back into old patterns. But here's the crucial part. 
balance. There's a fine line between authentic self-improvement and mere pretense. The key is consistency. It's not about putting on a one-time performance, but consistently practicing these attitudes and behaviors until they become second nature. Resilience plays a huge role here. You're bound to face setbacks, but it's your resilience that will dictate whether you fake it only temporarily or truly grow into the version of yourself you aspire to be. Adaptability is your secret weapon. As you fake it, you'll encounter situations that challenge your preconceived notions of who you are or who you should be. Embrace these moments. They are opportunities to adapt and refine your approach, ensuring that your growth is not just a facade but a deep transformative process. Let me share a story that perfectly illustrates this principle in action. There was a young entrepreneur who dreamed of leading a successful startup. Initially he lacked confidence, often second-guessing his decisions and struggling to lead. He decided to fake the confidence of a successful CEO. He adopted a posture of certainty in meetings, spoke with conviction, and made decisions with the assurance they would lead to the best outcome. Over time, something incredible happened. He didn't just appear more confident, he became more confident. His team responded positively, his decisions led to successes, and his startup thrived. He had faked his way into becoming the leader he always wanted to be. So, as we explore this journey together, remember, fake it till you make it is not about deception. It's a strategy for growth, a method for gradually transforming into the best version of yourself. It's about acting with the courage, confidence and conviction of the person you aspire to be, until you no longer have to act because you've made it. And that, my friends, is the power of a positive, growth-oriented attitude in action. As we stand here today on the brink of forging ahead into our futures, let's take a moment to understand the essence of cultivating lasting change. It's about more than just fleeting moments of inspiration or temporary boosts of motivation. True transformation begins with the habits we form, the small daily actions that over time solidify into the bedrock of a positive and resilient attitude. So, for a moment, the power of habits. These are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives. Habits can either build us up, leading us toward fulfillment and success, or they can pull us down into the depths of frustration and failure. The beauty of it is that we have the power to choose which habits we cultivate, and it starts with cementing a positive attitude through deliberate, consistent practice. The journey from faking it to making genuine, lasting changes is akin to a metamorphosis. It begins with the seed of an idea, perhaps even a facade, an act of pretending to be who we want to become. But here's where the magic happens. As we practice this new role, as we embody the attitudes and behaviors of our ideal selves, these actions start to become second nature. The act of faking it gradually fades away, leaving in its place the genuine article. We become the person we aspire to be, not through wishful thinking, but through deliberate action and persistent effort. But how do we start this process? How do we kickstart the engine of change and set ourselves on a path toward a brighter, more positive future. It's simpler than you might think. It all starts with one small action step, just one. Today, I encourage each and every one of you to commit to a single small action that will steer you toward a better attitude. Maybe it's starting your day with a positive affirmation, expressing gratitude for three things every morning, or dedicating 15 minutes to a hobby or activity that brings you joy. Perhaps it's reaching out to a friend or family member with a word of encouragement, or setting aside time each day to reflect on your goals and the progress you're making toward them. Whatever it is, make it something tangible, achievable, and aligned with the person you're striving to become. This small step is your foundation, the first brick in the road toward lasting change. And as you build on this foundation day by day, you'll find that the gap between faking it and making it narrows. Before you know it, you'll look back and realize that you're no longer pretending, you've grown, you've evolved, you've transformed into your best self. Now not because you wished it into existence, but because you worked for it, one small step at a time. So, as we move forward from this moment, let's carry with us the understanding that cultivating lasting change is within our grasp. It starts with our habits, with the small daily choices that over time add up to monumental transformation. Let's commit to that first small action step today, and let it be the catalyst that propels us toward a future where our attitudes are not just positive, but powerfully aligned with our deepest values and highest aspirations. As we draw this moment together to a close, 
let's take a step back and embrace the journey we've embarked upon today. We've delved deep into the transformative power of attitude, explored practical steps to cultivate positivity, navigated through the challenges of overcoming negativity, and unwrapped the essence of fake it till you make it. Each of these segments, woven together, forms a tapestry of insights aimed at empowering you, propelling you toward a future brimming with potential and success. Remember, the journey towards transforming your life begins with a single, yet profound realization. Your attitude is the lens through which you view the world, the architect of your reality. By choosing to adopt a positive outlook, to speak to yourself with kindness and conviction, and to visualize your success, you set the stage for incredible transformation. It's about taking those practical steps, day in and day out, feeding your mind with inspiration, and surrounding yourself with positivity. We've also confronted the specters of fear, doubt, and criticism head-on, acknowledging their presence but refusing to grant them power over our lives. Instead, we choose resilience, arming ourselves with the shield of a positive attitude, ready to face challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as stepping stones to greater heights. And through it all, the mantra of fake it till you make it serves as a beacon, guiding us towards authentic self-improvement. It's not about pretense. It's about embodying the qualities of the person you aspire to be until they become an integral part of you. This journey from imitation to genuine transformation is paved with consistency, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to personal growth. So, here we stand at the precipice of possibility, armed with the knowledge and tools to shape our destiny. The question now is not if change is possible, but when will you start? The answer, my friends, is now. Today this very moment. Every small step counts, every positive thought, every act of kindness towards yourself and others. These are the building blocks of the future you wish to create. So, let this moment be your call to action. Embrace the power of a positive attitude. Commit to those small, actionable steps towards positivity. Shield yourself from negativity and step into the role of the person you're destined to be. Remember, it's the accumulation of these small steps that leads to monumental change. Before you know it, you'll look back and realize that you're no longer pretending. You've grown, you've evolved, you've transformed into your best self. Now not because you wished it into existence, but because you worked for it, one small step at a time. So, as we embark on this journey, let's do so with courage, with hope, and with the unwavering belief that we are capable of shaping our lives into masterpieces of our own making. The journey ahead is filled with endless possibilities, and it all begins with a single step. So take that step, embrace the journey, and remember, the best is yet to come. We're going to talk about the principle of service, the key determinant of everything that happens to you in life. We live in a service economy, serving our fellow man or woman with the things he or she wants, which means that we all live by service, and that only by service can we survive at every level of our economy. Each of us is serving other people. Now, if you were a Robinson Crusoe, and you lived on an island by yourself, what you produced would be what you consumed. In other words, if you wanted a fish, you would catch fish. If you wanted a hut, you would build a hut. But your production would equal your consumption. All the universe is maintained in balance. And what you put in, you get out in exactly the same measure. For every bit of effort you put in, there is a reward that comes out. For every good that you do, good will come out. For every evil that you do, evil will come out in complete and perfect balance. Wherever I've seen an unhappy, unsuccessful person in life, almost invariably, you will see a person who is trying to get on the wrong end of the law of sowing and reaping. They are sowing bad in their relationships, sowing laziness in their work, and they cannot understand why they reap unhappiness and frustration in their lives. In every single area of life, this law of sowing and reaping seems to explain with complete accuracy what is happening to us. We know that in the great flow of life, we always have to put the seed in first before we get the crop. And whatever seed we put in the ground, that's going to determine whether the harvest is going to be good. Whatever you sow in your relationships, you reap in your relationships. We know that children are largely the reflection of their parents' treatment of them. If you raise children with dignity, love, self-respect, praise and approval, you will have positive, self-confident, happy, successful children. And if you criticize them, condemn, and complain and harp at them continually, you'll have children with low self-concepts, 
poor self-images, with a lack of self-confidence who will get into all kinds of troubles in life. Whatever you sow in your work, whatever you sow in your profession, whatever you sow in your business, you will reap in your rewards. The number of hours that you put in, the quality and quantity of service that you give to others, will always determine your rewards. And if you wish to increase those rewards, as we say, you can always focus on what is under your complete control. The quality and the quantity of your efforts. Wherever you see individuals or groups who increasingly demand greater rewards for less service, you see the sowing of the seeds of financial and economic disaster. The winners in life focus on putting in as much as they can, knowing that the crop will always follow. Now this is interesting because it's not the principle of sowing and reaping, it's not the principle of compensation, it's called the law of sowing and reaping. It is the law of compensation, it is the law of cause and effect. What it simply says is that the more that you put in, the more you will get out, by law, not by accident. Well, how does this apply to a business? For the purpose of a business is to create and serve a customer. How many people say the purpose of a business is to make a profit? But no, the purpose of a business is to create and serve a customer with goods and services at a price above the cost of production of those goods and services. And the result of successfully serving a customer with the goods and services that he or she wants is a profit. Clearly identifying your customers is one of the most important things that you can do in terms of increasing the value of your services. Virtually all market research is aimed at telling companies exactly who their customer is in an external marketplace. A manager, in effect, has three customers. The first customer is his boss, who has put him in that position. The second customer is his staff, the people who have been appointed to him to help him achieve the objectives of the function. And the third customer is the person who must use what you produce. At the very least, you must always satisfy this customer, the one who must use your work. You can achieve all of your goals in life if you'll just find enough different ways to achieve the goals of enough other people. And the more ideas you can have on how to serve more people better, the more ideas you have on how to enrich the lives of others, the more prosperous and successful you will be. The law of service says that we fulfill ourselves as human beings to the degree to which we lose ourselves in serving others, helping others, and improving the lives of others. Take us back, of course, to our principle of excellence, that you can only be successful doing what you do in an excellent fashion. I'm always surprised when I see companies that spend an enormous amount of money advertising to bring people in the door, and then have them served with indifference. And surely, Serving people restaurants that spend an enormous amount of money to get you to try them out, and then put little portions of poorly prepared food on the plate. It's absolutely amazing how much money is spent in advertising on the one end to get customers who try the business once and then go away and never come back. In fact, if you can become excellent in customer service, if you can become excellent at treating people like kings, then you can open almost any kind of business and you'll be successful. Remember, we're all in the business of customer satisfaction. The basic rule for starting a new business is and has always been, find a need and fill it. Find something that people need, find something that consumers need that nobody else is offering them, or find something that you can give to them that's better, cheaper, and faster in service. Remember, everything that you do in life that increases your ability to render useful service to others, increases your value in the world. It increases the quality and quantity of the seeds that you are sowing and it must eventually increase the quality and quantity of the harvest that you are reaping. The greatest men and women in history are those who dedicated their lives to service. In fact, true greatness only seems to emerge when we are totally absorbed in doing something that benefits other people. Anyone who thinks that they have an idea for a newer, better, faster, cheaper way to serve others is free to enter the marketplace and try. We are one of the few societies in the world where every time someone has an idea where they can serve customers with something that they need in a way that they're not being served already, they can enter into the marketplace and offer it. And whenever you see successful business, you should stand up and applaud because all successful business is based on somehow giving people something more than they had before. Most entrepreneurial fortunes began with a man or a woman who saw some need that wasn't being met and who successfully entered the market and met it. Look at the success of the hundreds of thousands of men and women who have built great organizations and corporations in the last 200 years of American history, every one of them based on somehow serving others with things that they couldn't get before. All your wealth will come from productivity, from finding better ways to serve others. And the harder you work serving others, the more successful you will be. 
and the harder you work serving others, the happier you will be. The average self-made millionaire works over 60 hours per week. You can tell where you're going to be in three to five years by simply noting the number of hours you work. If you're only working eight hours a day, you're simply staying in place. And heaven help you if the economy doesn't turn down and you lose your job, because then you sink very quickly. Remember, you've got to get into the top 20%, and it's a race, because the competition is becoming more and more fierce in our competitive society. You must work harder than the average to do better than the average, and much harder than the average to do much better than the average. And you must work hard, hard for years. The average age of self-made millionaires in America is 57, believe it or not. And most of those people made the bulk of their fortunes after the age of 40. Now you can start when you're 20 and work very, very hard, and develop an expertise and make yourself extremely valuable and you'll be wealthy a lot earlier. But it takes at least 20 years of unrelenting effort to achieve financial security in life. And the sooner you start, the sooner you accomplish it. And as you know, most people never start at all. A self-made millionaire was interviewed by Success Magazine a couple of years ago, and he was asked his secret of success. And he said, the one secret that I can contribute is always do more than you're paid for. It's a well-known rule for financial success. Always do more than you're paid for. Always put in more than you take out. Always leave more value than you take out of it. Go the extra mile. Practice overcompensation. Put yourself on the side of the angels by working more and working harder and working longer than anybody else. Go early, work harder, stay later, work weekends if necessary, work evenings. And if you can't work on your job, work on yourself. The harder you work, the luckier you get, said one self-made millionaire. And the better you get too, when you work hard, hard, you get better and better in your field. But if you don't work very much, then you don't achieve very much. Remember, the greatest joy and happiness in life goes to those who are fully engaged in work that makes a difference, work that serves and enriches and improves the lives of other people. And finally, serving others, feeling needed and valuable, builds your self-esteem. It causes you to like yourself and improves every aspect of your personality.